It's Simon. I think what brought me to LAFC is Los Angeles. Um, I'm a big soccer fan, but a longtime resident of uh, the city and wanting to be able to share across the city the energy and the vitality of, of culture and life and the things that LAFC put together uh, to originate that project for me was just incredibly uh, compelling. It was an amazing experience and it really felt like we were joining a community of people who all love soccer and they talked to us about being inclusive because we're a same-sex married couple and you know coming to a soccer t game and to a new stadium you always wonder what that's going to be like and from the very get-go they said no you're part of Los Angeles you know it's very inclusive that's what we want, that's how we're going to start this out, and that's what we want to emulate here with the team and with the fans. The moment that you step in in the stands and you, and you hear the North End full force and you see what we're capable of, um, it was uh, an amazing experience that, you know, I think is one of the best experiences in my life. Uh, it was, I, I get chills right now, not because it's cold, because <laughs> Because it was a moment, I, that's, that's when I think we all understood that we had a monster in our hands, that, that this was a real club. For me, I think it was a national anthem. It was pretty awesome to see the other end just, not, not, a, not a hired singer, but actually the fans singing the national anthem. It brought a sense of pride. The very first day when that announcer said, you know, North, East, West, and South, please join the 3252 in singing the national anthem. And they let the fans lead the national anthem. I got goosebumps. My name is Al Rate. I'm the director of match day presentation for LAFC. I oversee all video board, um, entertainment, and uh, events for LAFC at Bank of California Stadium. So the first day, nerve wracking uh, to say the least. Uh, basically I had spent uh, the last week living here, making sure all the systems were working, run-throughs together, testing VAR, having, hosting a watch party, and the, the, the first official match at Bank of California Stadium was, uh, was there. You automatically felt like you were walking into family. Just everybody, we were all color coordinated. I mean, I don't know that anybody really knew what LAFC was until we lived it. And it's like this huge party, just, you know, celebrating. But as soon as the whistle went on and you're, now you're watching a game. And, oh yeah, this is what we came for. With a one nil victory at the beginning yeah. in Seattle, the revenge factor was obviously very high and it was, it was very tense. I, I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. Of course, you, 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 you have feelings about you can't have the opening match in the stadium. It just can't be a draw. It can't be a loss. You know, we're throughout the match. We're we're waiting. We're waiting. Everything's rolling. You know, zero zero. You know, come the come the 85th minute and still nothing. It's like, okay, what do we do on a? The real question became, what are we doing on the tie? And the the thought, you know, do we pull, you just keep it generic? Nice. Thank you for coming and. And all of a sudden, you know, Simon steps up to that free kick in the 90th, and it's, you know, magic happens. Vela, that's a foul on Christian rolled on. This is Laurel Simon territory. Because of the, the incredible support we have here, we keep our windows open. And uh, so we get to hear the pop that happens every time we score. And especially that night with the, the gold sheets going, the, the chanting from the 3252, then this just avalanche of sound.
me, it was not Simone scoring the goal. It was, it, it, it was the, the, the fans, you know. It was just a, it was a, a pretty magical moment to think that the entire stadium came together to get that final push to get a goal. Because at that point, everybody was not white, black, Latin, Asian. Everybody was black and gold. That was it. Everybody was living the moment of this is our team, this is LA, and we just saw something amazing happen right in front of us, and it was pretty awesome. I mean, it was kind of divine in a way. And Simon, the, the general, the Had knuckleball, run. Fry bumbling it, I mean, I couldn't believe it. It yeah. was just like, what happened? But I think you're right. I think we all kind of willed it to happen. We were all like... And to see the entire statement connected with the players on the field and, and the entire stadium singing along and, and, and game one, it was, again, we scored the goal. Uh, la, 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 la. I love LAFC and I take a lot of my personal time away from my friends and my family to come to my second family. So the energy, the emotion and everything that's involved with it, we don't have to win every match. But when they, you know, put the cherry on top like that, when you have like a bad work week or, you know, you're just anxious and something like that happens, it's just no words can, can, des can describe that for me. When I come here, it's like family. It's, it's different because people here become all one, you know, like they all love soccer and soccer is such an international sport that doesn't matter what race you are, they all come and enjoy the game. I can tell you that I feel like <laughs> it's going to sound funky, but I can die in peace, you know. Um, this, is, this is something that, that, that when you're a football lover, something that you dream of every single day of your life. And, and when you see it come through and when you see that what you have brought to the stands, to the people, to the club, uh, is, is becoming traditions, is becoming a culture, which at the end of the day, that's our main goal. We want LAFC not just to be a soccer team, a football team. We want it to be a culture, a religion, a, a, a space where people can come, congregate, and feel like it's, it's the city against the world. Yeah? And uh, it's, it's beautiful to be part of it. <laughs>